Hello everyone and welcome to New Egg TV. My name is Paul and today we have a special guest in our studio. This is Keith Washoe from Qualcomm Atheros. How's it going, Keith? Good, Paul. Thanks for having us. Thank you for coming by. And I see you have brought a selection of Powerline network adapters. Um, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. We brought a lot of our, our favorite customers here. They're Powerline products that we uh, help give the technology for. And we're very excited to talk about all these Powerline products today. So for those out there who might be a little bit confused, because we have a lot of different manufacturers here, and you're from Qualcomm Atheros, uh, what is your role and your company's role uh, in association with Powerline Network Adapters? Sure, Paul. So Qualcomm Atheros is the, the world leader in networking. Specifically, uh, we're number one in Powerline technology products. And so we're leading the technology in this space. We're very excited to be here today to talk about these Powerline products, what it is, why it's great, why you need it, and uh, help also share with you in the future what's coming down the line with Powerline. And for those folks who might not be familiar with Powerline adapters yeah. in general, what, what, what is their function? What do they do? So Powerline allows you to turn any one of your wall sockets into a broadband hot pipe. So basically, by using your existing wires in your home, your, your wall sockets, you can have internet at every wall socket. So basically, you plug in one of the power line adapters to your router upstairs in your, say, in your bedroom. You plug in another adapter downstairs, say, in the basement, and you instantly have internet through every wall socket, and you can connect your smart TVs, your gaming consoles, uh, whatever you want to enjoy uh, your, a great networking experience. So particularly where you might have limitations uh, with regards to, say, wireless networking, uh, you can go with power line adapters, and basically you can take your internet and using the existing power cables in your home, power wiring through your walls, Yes, you can use that for the actual data connection. Yeah, what's beautiful about Powerline, Paul, is you, you don't have to drill wires throughout your home anymore. If you have wireless dead spots in your home, like if your router's very high upstairs uh, in the bedroom and you're downstairs in your man cave in the basement, you have a smart TV there, and you might get a dead spot from the router. That's just a fact. Wireless mm -hmm. can't go that far through all the walls. So Powerline gives you whole home coverage. It, it gives you internet at every wall socket in the home. I mean, it's what a great way to, to tap into your network. Now, uh, I do have a little bit of experience uh, with Powerline networking in the past, and uh, we do want to go back in time because this is a, a yeah. technology that's been evolving, that's true. Uh, and there have been some past, uh, let's say, limitations uh, that you guys have actually overcome by virtue of a few different things. Uh, we have, for first of all, we have the Home Plug Alliance. Uh, we have a lot of different companies that yeah. come together to standardize uh, this method of uh, data communication. Right. And uh, then we also have some advances in technology uh, that have really helped bridge the gap uh, to really make this a much more reliable, uh, much more long-term solution. That's right, Paul. The reality is, if you haven't tried uh, Powerline in the past year or two, you really haven't really tried Powerline. Now, Powerline's advanced so much, first off, through the Home Plug Alliance, where 60 companies have really come together to standardize these products to make sure they work great. Uh, the old power line at the beginning, the technology was evolving, but there were challenges. Uh, they had lower frequencies. You were like in the kilohertz. Uh, you couldn't really jump phrases or, or, or breakers. So there were some uh, dead spots in certain areas of the rooms that you couldn't get past certain circuit breakers. Also, let's be honest, the beginning of the power line, the bandwidth was a little bit uh, slower there. You had like maybe 18 megabits per second or up to 85 at some point. Mm. Um, but the new power line, really with the advent of, of HomePod Alliance standardized everything, is now you got faster broadband. You can go up to 500 megabits per second with these adapters. Mm. You have higher frequencies. You went from kilohertz to megahertz. So you're jumping all phases of your home and breakers. You have no problem there. Uh, so you can just get world-class networking in every room of your home, whole home coverage with Powerline technology today, thanks to the standardization, increase in bandwidth, and increase in frequencies. So Keith, now that we've established what Powerline networking is, uh, let's go into why. Why would I want to use Powerline networking? There's, a, there's several different options out there if I want to have uh, data communication yeah. between different devices in my home. Uh, what are the benefits of the Powerline? Well, Paul, basically Powerline allows you to make every outlet an internet connection. So it really lights up your power outlets into broadband spots. Um, so why would you want that? Well, wireless can only go so far in your home. A wireless router upstairs, the signal may not reach the, the, the basement there. So Powerline gives you that whole home coverage, allows you to extend your network using your existing wires so you can get broadband in every room of your house through your uh, power outlet. So if you have, for example, a, a very dense house yes. and uh, you have yes. difficulty getting the wireless signal through, maybe you live in, a, in an urban area or you live somewhere in a big apartment building and you have right. a lot of wireless interference, sometimes that's not always the best solution. Yeah, so if you have thick walls, if you ha have a bigger home and you have specifically basements and stuff where you have smart TVs in your man cave and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. 
wireless signals can't penetrate all that, and you'll find that either you'll get dead spots or just very, very low um, connectivity. So Powerline completely solves that by giving you broadband in every wall outlet of every home of your house to easily connect your smart TVs, your game consoles, and anything else you want for, for great connectivity. Now, as far as the setup goes, is there any difficulties there? So it's really easy, uh, Paul. It's almost plug and play. Well, it is. It's like plugging in an air freshener. You just plug it into the wall. Mm -hmm. um, and so you get a kit. For example, you'll get two power adapters. You just plug in one by the router, okay. um, and you connect it your Ethernet to the router and plug it in. And that instantly lights up every wall socket in your home into Internet broadband uh, connection spots. And then you plug in the other outlet by your smart TV or your game counselor or media center, and you connect through the Ethernet there to that device. And then I uh, imagine if you wanted to add more, if you want multiple locations, you just get an additional adapter. And then, uh, like you said, they're all lit up. So wherever you plug one in, there you have the internet connectivity. Exactly. So you can really, that's why we have a, a plethora of great customers here with that make great power line products. There's a lot of varieties and flavors. And you can just plug in different adapters in different rooms of your house. And with the home plug certification, they're all interoperable and will work together to make sure you have a seamless experience. That's the beauty of standardization. <laughs> you can go with multiple manufacturers wherever you find the best deal. Uh, I mean, yeah. or the best functionality for what you want. That's another good question. Uh, as far as uh, expenses goes, is, is yes. this an expensive technology? That's a great question, Paul, because Powerline technology has really come down in price over the years, and it's no more expensive than, than a wireless solution, but you get the advantages of having great broadband in every room of the house, reliable, um, and, and so, for example, you can get a Powerline kit today mm -hmm. for like $49.99, and that's giving you like a 500 megabit per second Powerline kit, which is just incredible. And that is uh, the, the, the bandwidth increase that has come along with the, the most recent standard? That's right. So what started off as you know, 18 megabits per second or maybe 85 megabits per second, today Powerline adapters can go up to 500 megabits per second, full multimedia class speeds for streaming HD video and, and gaming and, and multimedia like audio streams of Pandora. But also as we go into the future, you're going to have gigabit speeds as well. Very nice. So, Keith, next up I have some questions for you. I'm going to try to poke some holes in Powerline <laughs> networking. Uh, first off, let's talk about security. So let's say I live in an apartment building or I live in a house and I've mm -hmm. got wall sockets everywhere or external wall sockets. Can right. somebody else with a Powerline adapter just come up and plug in and start stealing <laughs> my Internet? Now, that's a good question. A lot of people believe that. It's a misperception. Actually, with the home plug push button security, which is one push of a button here, you can actually set up and protect your network with the latest uh, networking security technologies. So you don't have to worry about that. It's completely secure, and it's all really done with just the push of a button really easy. So a rogue adapter can't just jump on there. You've actually got to pair them up first. Yeah, exactly. Pair them up first. Excellent. All right. Uh, next question. Uh, some of the older misconceptions about this technology. Uh, what if I turn the microwave on? What if I've got some sort of other noise on the line, something interfering uh, on my electrical circuit in my home? Is that going to like, am, is my internet going to die? No, you know, that's not the case, especially with the new, the advent of the new uh, home plug certification and uh, the standardizations, actually the higher frequencies that we have in the new power line products. They actually have also intelligence that allows them to sniff out noise on the line and to adjust uh, the, the, the algorithms to make sure that you get a great power line experience, regardless if you have a vacuum cleaner or microwave going on in the back. Around. The higher frequencies and the intelligence uh, built into these products today, they can circumvent that and filter that out and adjust. All right, so filtering built in. Yeah. Uh, next question, what if I live in an older home? A home was built back in the day when, when, when electricity was first invented, or maybe not that long ago, but let's say I have an older home yeah. uh, and, and my power lines, you know, may, maybe I'm worried that they might be older. Uh, will this work even if I have an older uh, circuit in my home? Yeah, the, the new power line products today, even if you have an older home, will work fine. We, we like to say that as long as there's electricity and wires running to power um, outlets in the home, you're going to have a, a, power, a good power line experience today with the new adapters. So basically, the new adapters with the home plug certifications, and they have higher frequencies, so they can actually jump phases and jump breakers and get that power line to your garage or to your basement and different wall sockets of your home today. No so problem. even if I have uh, multiple circuits going on in the home, it can still communicate between those? That's right. The new power line can do that. Excellent. Uh, now, Keith, I'm a gamer personally, and um, that is what one of my primary uses for my network at home and yeah. my internet connection is uh, to play online video games. Right. Uh, is Powerline networking a good solution for that? 
Actually, Paul, Powerline's great for, for gaming, both for the console and PC. There's two reasons. One is you're going to get lower latency with this and also a more reliable, faster connection than you would with Wi-Fi, especially if you're far away from the router. Mm -hmm. So you can have a more reliable, uh, quick connection, lower latency for that that gaming experience. What's also good about this is that you have pretty much a direct Ethernet connection to mm. your gaming console or your PC right through Powerline. And that gives you that really high-end broadband experience, especially if you're trying to download a game patch or get a, a game update that requires some good uh, bandwidth. So whereas with wireless, you might have the signal drop and everything, and then you don't get the headshot, and then you die. Exactly. Uh, you're not going to have that with the power. <laughs> yeah, not only either. that, it will save you from, I'll have your bullets get to where they need to go quicker, mm -hmm. and you won't drop as many packets and cause lag. Uh, but while through a power line, you can actually get your game update in that patch pretty quickly versus having to wait forever with your little tiny one-bar wireless signal that you might have. All right. So uh, apart from gaming, uh, some other use case scenarios, what if I want to do uh, streaming video, for example? Yeah, so with the advent of Powerline now going up to speeds of 500 megabits per second, there's plenty of 200 megabit per second products. Those are all multimedia class networking, so you can do HD video and streaming no problem with uh, the new Powerline products. Now, Keith, uh, the beauty of the Home Plug Alliance and all these companies coming together to agree on a standard is mm -hmm. not only do you have interoperability Ability, but, well, you have variety, so uh, we actually, as you guys have probably noticed, have a variety of uh, different power line adapters from different manufacturers right here in front of us. That's right, Paul. i got a lot of great flavors and varieties to choose from. As Qualcomm Atheros, as the leaders in power line technology, we're very excited to work with all the great networking companies out there today to deliver excellent power line solutions. They're featuring our Qualcomm Atheros AMP technology. So um, you got Zyxo with great power line adapter kits. Of course, uh, TP-Link here, uh, Netgear, D-Link, TrendNet, Action Tech, all giving Powerline solutions that deliver multimedia class high-speed networking, which is great for all the HD video you want to stream, the music, whether it's from Pandora, or making sure you get that great connectivity for your gaming console or PC. So everything you can imagine for the best um, networking experience. So uh, all these kits are going to provide you with that Powerline functionality right out of the box, of That's course. Right. Uh, some of them are going to have slightly different flavors. Uh, example over here we have is Netgear sent us their Powerline uh, AV200, this is a USB 200 plus device, and uh, they have decided to integrate a little USB audio device right here. So I've got a USB port on the bottom. You simply plug that in. They've included some cables, so you can connect that over to your uh, home stereo system. And then basically that allows you to take uh, any device, such mm -hmm. as a, a laptop, a yeah. smartphone, a tablet, and you can just stream your audio over your network straight to your stereo system. That's right, and so Powerline's also advancing, Paul, in that today you can get multimedia class high-speed networking up to 500 megabits per second, but we'll be working with all these companies to bring gigabit speeds out there as well. And also, the, one of the new things is what's called hybrid uh, Powerline networking, which is a fusion of two things. It's obviously a Powerline chip to give you that Ethernet connection into any wall socket in the home, but the hybrid part allow, also will include a wireless chip, so you can get wireless signals, so it's like a wireless extender as well within the Powerline product, so you get both. So check out the new the hybrid uh, technology coming soon. Excellent. So i uh, got a lot of products available right now, a lot of products planned, uh, some advances coming in the future, so exciting technology still to come. And uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. So yeah. I'd like to say a big thank you to Keith thank for you, stopping Paul. by today. Appreciate it. Great to see you. Great. And uh, guys, check out the Powerline networking uh, adapters, all of them that you see here. We'll have some links down in the video description. And uh, that's all for this video. If you'd like to see more tech videos, you can find more on our Newegg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time.